But we begin here at 6 o'clock with the latest on the budget battle between Tulsa's mayor and city council. New numbers from last year's budget came in lower than expected and put some spending priorities for this year in jeopardy. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan has the top story tonight. Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett essentially told the city council, I told you so. We've depleted that fund. That, that fund, you estimated to be $2.8 million in this current budget. But it, in actuality, it came in at $1.9 million. And we've already spent that money. What's going to happen? We don't know what. It was not the news the council wanted to hear, and some didn't even believe it. For the bleak picture that you're painting, that may not be the real picture. It could be a lot brighter than what you're painting. In this city budget, the council added $2.8 million of spending. But the available money, according to the mayor, turned out to be less, $1.9 million, a shortage of $869,000. That shortage is money for street and pothole repairs, salt and sand purchases, and employee overtime during winter storm. I think the answer is you won't find one. Even traditional allies of the mayor questioned whether the numbers are reliable. That's not a fair comparison. That's not apples to apples. That's apples to oranges. Bartlett said his numbers are solid, in part because they're from the past, while the council is making a prediction that new money will come in to fill the gaps. They assume $2.8 million in that account. It's not. It's going to be $1.9 million. So in order to fulfill uh, the uh, other services that we wanted to uh, restore, we'll have to find another source of money, another account. Now, the mayor said he was just wanting to sound the alarm, especially in light of other expenses already identified for next year, and that he doesn't have a problem with spending for council priorities. Now, the city council is convinced the city has the money, even if it's not where they thought it would be. Emory Bryan, the News on 6.